What's up guys, Mike here, and just by reading this title, you already know I think the Thunder should trade Russell Westbrook. But to be clear, this is plan B. Plan A is signing him right now. Again, if the Thunder are able to re-sign Westbrook, disregard this entire video. Unfortunately, he isn't committing to a contract extension, and I think that's a problem. I think the Thunder need to seriously think about trading Russell Westbrook. It's just too big of a risk to wait until the offseason. And if you disagree with me, I honestly hope you hear me out, because this is one of the toughest videos. Videos I've ever had to make. I struggled with which side to take on this opinion for a long time. Because let's be honest, Russell Westbrook is a player unlike anything we've ever seen before. He plays the game at the highest level while seemingly always giving a hundred percent effort. He's freakishly athletic, he's proven that he can rack up assists, and most importantly, I really think the Western Conference Finals changed him. I think something in him clicked during that series, that he realized sometimes he needs to defer a little more in order for his team to have a greater chance at winning. And throughout history, we've seen things click into place like this for other superstars. Jordan was notoriously a ball stopper in his early years with the Bulls. It took multiple losses to the Pistons for him to change his ways. LeBron was the opposite. He would pass way too much in the clutch, and after heading home early too many times, he changed his style of play to become more aggressive. So I honestly think the version of Russell Westbrook we're going to see next season is going to be the best version we've ever seen. On top of this, Westbrook is going to be the lone alpha on a team for the first time. Sure, he's played without Durant before for extended periods of time due to injury, but KD was always on the sideline, a looming presence. Now Westbrook can declare that this is his team, which I think is very important to him. And speaking of Durant, Russ is apparently very angry that KD left him, which means we're going to see a pissed off Westbrook in FU mode the whole season. So I'm sure we can expect some crazy numbers and crazy highlights. And and so you might be asking, Mike, what's the problem? Russ has his own team now. He's going to be crazy motivated to win. This is a man you desperately want to keep, right? Not trade away. But here's the thing. The Thunder can't afford to look at how Russ will just affect their team this season. They can't be that short-sighted. Not again. Because right now, the Thunder are in a tough place. They just lost Kevin Durant, one of the top players in the NBA, and got nothing back for him. That is devastating, and it's the single most important reason why I think the Thunder need to trade Russell Westbrook. While he said that he isn't demanding a trade and is excited for this season, he also has told the Thunder that he will not commit to signing an extension. That is a risk that OKC can simply not take. Not again. They can't afford to lose another top player in the NBA and get nothing back in return. Listen, I don't blame Westbrook for not agreeing to a contract extension. With the cap jumping up even more next season, this makes financial sense. The problem is though that he hasn't given OKC any indication that he'll resign, which reminds me a lot of Durant and you saw how that played out. You have to get something back for your best asset, so in my opinion that leaves the Thunder with two options. They can wait it out, hope Russ eventually decides he loves the Thunder and wants to resign, and if not trade him during the midseason, or they can just trade him right now. Both of these options carry serious risks and rewards. If the Thunder decide to wait it out, they have the obvious potential reward that the Thunder will surprise teams next season, finish as one of the West's best teams, and that Russ will decide he loves OKC and will want to stay. The risk, of course, is that the Thunder perform as an average team next season, and it becomes clear that Westbrook is definitely leaving. If this happens, the Thunder have already damaged their own draft pick next year by winning too many games with Russ. They also put themselves in a bad position in terms of their leverage with trades. If it's the middle of the season and Westbrook is still not willing to commit to any team long term, then his value will drop significantly as teams will not want to give away too many assets for a potential half season rental. And for anyone pointing at the Carmelo Anthony situation and saying the Nuggets got back a ton for Carmelo, remember, Mello had been telling basically everyone that he wanted to be traded to the Knicks for months, and it was clear that he would sign an extension with the Knicks. Russ, on the other hand, has made it just as clear that he will not be committing to any contract extensions, and I don't think that will change. I think he just saw Durant spend weeks getting wined and dined, and now he wants the same treatment. Which is why I think the Thunder are best suited with just trading Russ right now. The risk is just too high that he won't sign a contract extension with any team until the offseason. And honestly, the Thunder will be in a very good spot if they do trade Russ and take one of the great packages that several teams are offering. I'm going to use the Celtics as an example. First, let's take a look at what the Thunder will have if Russ does leave. 
Of course, they'll still have all their good young players, such as Steven Adams, Oladipo, Campaign, Cantor, etc. And they'll now have cap space, but in a world where everyone has cap space, only the real contenders will likely get the best free agents. So the Thunder are going to struggle to sign anyone who will make their team better than average to below average. And on top of all of this, they'll have a fringe playoff pick from winning games this year with Russ, giving them anywhere between the 18th to 25th pick. Now, if the Thunder trade Russ, they end up with this. They still have all of their young talent, and they get to add new talent, such as Marcus Smart, Avery Bradley, Jalen Brown, etc. They also will still have cap space, as well as potentially two great picks in next year's draft if they can land the Brooklyn pick from the Celtics. Don't get too caught up in the specifics of the trade here, that's not my intention. All I'm saying is that by trading Russ, the Thunder will infuse their roster with more young talent, and they'll have much better picks in this draft, as they will become a below average team in the West next season and they'll have the chance to trade for even more picks. And from reports, the 2017 NBA draft is supposed to be a great one. Having one or two valuable picks in an awesome draft would give the Thunder a chance to draft and develop young talent in hopes that they can fill the superstar roles that Durant and Westbrook have left. And unfortunately, that's what people get caught up on. The fact that the Thunder are losing two superstars in hopes of eventually drafting a guy that will become a superstar. I get it. This trade sucks. I don't want it to happen. I want Russ to stay in OKC. Even with great draft picks, the Thunder might not get another Durant or Westbrook talent for 10, 15, 20 years. There aren't any guarantees in the NBA, but there's also no guarantee that Westbrook will stay. If that's the case, you need to view him as an asset and you need to get value out of that asset. So trade Russ to the Lakers, Celtics, wherever you can get the most value. The Thunder already took a risk and failed with Durant. This time, they need to play it safe. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. To my loyal subscribers, thank you guys so much. You mean so much to me. Thank you for supporting. And if you haven't subscribed already and you love basketball, I think you'll love this channel too. I make basketball videos like this. I do what if scenarios. I look at NBA history. I do stories on players. So check out the channel. If you love basketball, I think you'll enjoy it. And I'd love to have you subscribe. And as always, my dudes, have an awesome, awesome day. And cue the music.